So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our video of uh, conjunction series. And today we're going to be covering Sun Rahu in the ninth house of a horoscope. As in what happens when Sun and Rahu are both conjunct in the ninth house. And as always, if you do not know, if you have this particular placement, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, all these astrological details. For that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological reporting for my books, consultations, and link to my academy, Makavadeka Shalji Academy, where you'll find all kinds of unique courses and my blogs, where I'm actually going to start a new video mini series where I'm going to show you certain things that I've figured out with certain activations of planets. It just that's what I'm telling you. I'm crazy behind the scenes. Uh, when I go dive in deep into something, uh, I dive deep. So uh, that's, that's a little crazy eccentricness about me. So, Sun Rahu in the ninth house. So ninth house, as you know, is a house of father, guru, teacher, mentor, counselor. Okay. It also is the house of pilgrimage, foreign distance travels, higher education, like especially like a post grad education. Okay, it's also the house of children. So when Sun and Rahu are conjunct in the ninth house, one thing you will see that your father would definitely be scammed and cheated in his life by a foreigner. You, when you travel to some pilgrimage, okay, when you travel to some pilgrimage, either you can get scammed or get pickpocketed. The other thing we also see, and this is especially depending upon the sign tattva of Sun and Rahu, father can cheat other people in the workspace and business. But again, it depends on seriously the tattva of the sun with Rahu and obviously the nakshatra will come into play as well. This is also the placement where there will be, there will be this uh, bouts of uh, separation in increments. For example, let's say somehow you could have been separated from the father or the family could, could have been separated from the father, let's say from age three to six, then 12 to 14 then 17 to 23 and certain um well actually the most of the time what we see is that father would have such a profession where father would have to work in a different country while the family's in this country and it's funny enough i did a reading maybe last year sometime i don't know exactly when i forgot the month but this person was wanting to get back home in india they were working in dubai as a, uh, not a civil engineer, it was like a mechanical type engineer related, it's like a construction engineer. They have been away, you know, from their family for quite a while and they're wanting to get back. And the thing is, they particularly had Sun and Rahu not in the ninth house. They had Sun Rahu in the second house. So they themselves were like, kind of like separated time to time from their family. But I'm not saying is that they have this conjunction is that I've seen Sun Rahu conjunction either cause separation for the person with the family or certain member of the family with the person. And one thing you will see is that you will take on somebody as a father figure who's going to be of a completely foreign origin, foreign religion or culture. And I'm not even talking about like a guru, like, no, this is my father-like figure. For example, you know, you see in the movies, a Hindu child is, you know, taken in by this Muslim man. And, you know, when they grow up, they turn out to be a Bachchan and, you know, they have all these great values and, you know, they, they consider that person a father. I don't know which movie it was, Namakalal or something. Uh, one of these kind of situations will happen where you will consider somebody, even though you have a father, you will, maybe you would love your father, but you will also consider there's going to be this adapt, adaptation or I would say adoption. You will have an adoption of a father in your life. 
Like as much as you have a father, you adopt someone else. Like, you know what? You're my father figure as well. Kind of like that uh, book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Um, how the, this the author, what is his name? Kawasaki. He had a poor dad, you know, who taught him about all the basic things in life. Then he had a rich dad who showed him, hey, how do you actually make money in this world? These are the type of situations that will occur with Sun Rahu in the ninth house. And especially with Sun Rahu in the ninth house, there will be major issues caused with elder siblings. Now, how will they be caused? For that, we have to see uh, where the Nakshatra Lord is placed of Sun and Rahu or the sign dispositor is placed because it could be related to one's marriage, uh, property, wealth, career. Somehow these things will play this triangle, you know, battle between the elder sibling. The other thing we also see is one of your paternal grandfather is most definitely is kind of like destined to come as your own child. So that's something you will see with son Rahu in the ninth house. And one thing we also see early in childhood, father would deal with some unusual, um, either viral or um, some some form, form of like infection. Like father will deal with something unusual. But what happens is when father deals with it, because this is in your chart, father's bhagya ode happens. After dealing with some kind of like an infection or some kind of like a virus thing with this conjunction, bhagya ode happens. Now, obviously, we know what's happening right now, but uh, that's not, uh, you know, what I'm really talking about because you have to have, I'm specifically talking about this conjunction. Right now, people with all kinds of conjunction are dealing with this worldwide issue. But with Sun Ra, which shows, if let's say you have this and then let's say father, you know, contracts the virus, but after father recovers, there's a bhagya ode that happens. So that's all also you will see. And usually you will also see father will be very much uh, inclined towards foreign teachers and foreign philosophy. So it's not just you, because remember, we are all adaptation of our parents. The things that they kind of like grew up with, it gets recorded in their genes and it gets transferred to us. So even though we don't want to like something, we don't, or we don't want to hate something, we end up having those same feelings. Because again, unless we can break that record, we are going to play that record over and over again. Okay. So this is my analysis of Sun Ra in the ninth house. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. Share me these type of videos. If you want to know where you, this conjunction is placed in your chart and what nakshatra inside it's in, check out the links here and check out the shop section. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.